Hello everyone. Mmm, it smells like fall outside today. Even though it's probably still like 90 degrees or so, I do live in Houston, Texas. Let's see, how hot is it? 95. But maybe it's not as humid today. I don't know what it is, but it definitely feels like a fall day. Therefore, I said sweater and leggings. 95 degrees. I feel like I definitely look weird today. Maybe no glasses. Yeah, we'll do no glasses. Um, I'm wearing lipstick. I never wear it, but I feel like it just makes me look a little bit older. I don't know. Anyways, today I'm gonna go get Starbucks and just talk to you guys. Well, actually, I'm not really talking to you guys. I am talking to future Sydney. Today's video, I'm gonna be asking my future self questions. I think this will be so fun to look back on. Kind of like a time, not a time capsule. Yeah, a time capsule. I almost said time lapse. Like a time capsule, but it's just video form. And then maybe like every year I can do this and answer the questions and then ask my future self questions. So um, I wrote down some good ones and let's go to Starbucks first because I really need coffee right now. And it is also fall time. My favorite time of the year even though it's hot outside. So the fall drinks are back. Recently, I've only been liking cold brew. I finally like coffee, but I only like cold brew. But they have the pumpkin cream cold brew and I don't like cream that much, but I really just want that pumpkin fall vibe. So I'm gonna get it. I have a mobile order for Sydney. Oh my gosh, have you guys heard this song yet? Okay, the car in front of me ordered like the entire menu, so finally got my drink. Oh yeah, so good. Mm. Future Sydney, are you ready to answer some questions? Because I've got some for you. Okay, so right now, just to tell my future self, um, I am very consistent on YouTube, posting three times. I do Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Um, I've been streaming a little bit on my main channel, a little bit on my second channel, and I'm about to hopefully start posting on my second channel soon. Um, I like to post on TikTok a lot. I do that a couple times a week, and I kind of hate Instagram, but then sometimes I love it and I'll post and then I forget about it. So that's always a toss up. Let me know if any of that has changed. Um, I'm curious. Okay, so first off, how was your year? So far this year has been crazy. Lots of changes, lots of up and downs, and I'm sure it'll be the same answer because a whole year is a long time. How is your mental health doing? I am significantly better, but I'm not exactly where I wanna be yet. So I'm hoping that you have some good news for us, Sydney. Ew, saying my name sounds weird. Did you ever end up staying consistent with fitness? Where are you fitness-wise? What's going on there? <laughs> right now, I just started a little Chloe Ting 30-day challenge. I'm on like day four, and I'm really trying to stay consistent with that and some decently better healthy eating. Did you ever end up dyeing all of your hair blonde? Did you keep it blonde like you've been wanting to do? Or what color is it? What did you do? What's the What's the hair crisis of the past year? Going along with that, did you grow it long? Did you end up cutting it? Do you still have bangs? Did you grow your bangs out? Just tell us the whole hair situation. Did you ever end up having a viral video on YouTube? My goal for the past like couple months has been trying to think of a viral video idea because I haven't had like a truly viral video in a very long time. Did you pick up any random hobbies? I know you did because you do that all the time. Currently, some of my random hobbies are doing my nails, which they're not even done right now. I was learning how to sugar wax myself. It wasn't going well. <laughs> and I've been debating getting into reading, so let me know if you ended up doing that. Do you still live in Texas? Do you still live in Houston? Do you live in the same area of Houston? Do you still live in the same apartment? Just tell me all about your living situation, because we ended up moving like Missouri, Utah, Texas, and I feel like I'm gonna stay here for a while, but let me know what's up. Are you still in the same townhouse? Did you end up up buying more property. One of my goals right now is to buy more property here in Texas. Maybe once the market chills out a little bit. Do you still love Houston? Are you wanting to move? Just tell me all the details. All right, and then as far as your house in Missouri, what's the situation with that? And do your tenants pay on time because we are just about to get some new tenants? And just how, tell me all about that situation. Going along with uh, people living situation, does Charlie live with you? Did she end up living with you? And I haven't really talked about this on the channel, but Charlie might be moving in with me. Long story, we'll talk about it when it comes to it, but in like March, she might be moving in with me, so we'll see if that happens, if it ever did happen. Um, how is your relationship with God? Hopefully it's just up, up, up. We're significantly closer with God than we've ever been right now, but I hope 
it just got better. Did you end up completing your 365 day reading where you like read the whole Bible? Because we're on day 40 today and we've missed two days, but we made up for it and did like double reading the next day, but I really don't like missing days. So tell me how that went. Did you find a church that you wanted to start attending every Sunday that you liked? Tell me about that situation. I'm still looking. Did you make any new friends? And how did you make these new friends? Cause right now I'm like, how would I possibly make any more friends? Who is your number one best friend right now? Did you end up starting to date? Have you gone on dates? Or do you have a boyfriend? What's the situation? All right, this one is a little spicy because I haven't talked about this on the channel, but uh, <laughs> did your divorce ever end up getting finalized? And how long did it take? You don't have to spill any details because I know we're keeping private about that, but uh, I'm still married right now. So did we get our last name changed back? And in the past year, how often have you gone home? How was going home for the first time? I know you were nervous about that. I guess I could say right now I am nervous about that. All right. 21st birthday it is coming up this is the last big birthday you have to look forward to where did you end up going how did you spend it who are you with and was it as fun as you thought or did you end up crying on your birthday because your expectations were too high <laughs> because i always do that right now my plan is actually i might be going to my mom's for my birthday and then my two brothers might go with me and because my mom wants to take me all around all her favorite places and just have some fun time with my mom my two brothers you know 21st birthday with my mom <laughs> but my mom's fun, so that, it actually would be a very memorable birthday because I know that, that Charlie's mom's birthday is that same weekend and so she might be down with her mom. And so I might not be able to celebrate my 21st birthday with my friends, like, right then. I don't know. It's very up in the air, but one of the plans is to go to mom's for 21st. Did you ever finally buy a new laptop? Because if you haven't, please go do it. Everyone, please comment for Sydney, future Sydney, whenever she's responding to this video, to buy a new laptop. Because hers is so old, and it's always freezing and shutting down and start restarting, and it's just bound to happen that it's gonna ruin a video one day. So please go buy a new laptop. It is literally your job, okay? Stop trying to justify it. It's already justified. Go buy it. And just, is there anything new you wanna tell me about? Anything going on? Right now there's really nothing new. You already know what's going on in my life right now, looking back on this, so. Do you own anything new that you wanna talk about? Like maybe a new laptop, yeah. What is your current favorite song? I just showed you guys my current favorite song. Does watching this video make you feel weird? Does it give you nostalgia? Why can I not say that? Nostalgia? Nost yeah, that word. Do you feel like that right now watching this? Watching me with this hair color, with this haircut, with this makeup, this sweater, this background? How is it making you feel? And what is your favorite thing to do in your free time right now? Currently, our favorite thing is to either play video games or watch Netflix. Wow, I so fun or play Catan with my friends do you still play Catan like way more often than you should and do you still have the same strategy when I ask questions literally about Catan oh what is your favorite Netflix show right now I just started watching Bachelor in Paradise so I've been catching up on that but my go-to show to just have in the background is Grace and Frankie I think it's just a nice chill one to throw on while I'm doing stuff. I also really like the show Manifest, and I love watching any show that has to do with like house renovations or shopping for houses, anything like that. But there's nothing new right now because I already watched them all. And I think those are all my questions for you, future Sydney. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks for watching you guys. And I'm very excited to see how much I change in the next year and if my questions will be answered and what's different, what's not. Maybe I'll be the exact same person. That would actually be a change. Being the same person would be a change. Oh, do you have any new piercings? Do you have any new tattoos? Show me them. Tell me all about them because I know how much you love them and are excited about them. Right now we just have the two tattoos. I hope we don't have any more piercings because girl, we're booked. There's nothing else. Okay, please don't. Chill. Tattoos though, let me know. Can you still see your UV tattoos also? It's almost been a year and you can still see mine, so. All right, that's it. I'm excited to see how much I change in the next year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.